I've come away from Samarkand right up into the Nurata Mountains and this little village down below just waking up now it's called Hayat and Hayat means life and you can feel that life as the dawn breaks Climb every mountain. I'm going on a hike. We shall see what the day brings. This for me is what it's all about. Unexpected encounters. It could be with local people, but in this case, it's with landscapes. Just come out of the Valley of Hayat, and now over the pass. And look at this breathtaking view. Stunning. Gorgeous, I'm loving every minute. Just when you think you're in an arid, almost desert-like landscape, you see tucked away in the valley, another settlement. Peach trees, walnut trees, poplar trees, goats, donkeys, and people living a hidden away life. I've just learnt another word, which is which seems to be the sound to encourage your donkey to get going. And get going we did, weaving along little paths that ran through tiny villages and occasionally taking a few snaps of the locals. Walking really is the best way to get a sense of mountain life. Just as the sun was setting for the day, we left the villages behind and started to climb. Absolutely breathtaking and this is a view I've waited to see for years. I've read stories of the Kizilkum Desert and there it is stretched ahead of me. Genghis Khan came through Samarkand, laid it to waste and rather to everyone's amazement, he crossed the Kizilkum Gezert. No one was thinking he'd come from there, and he did, and he came round to Bukhara in the west and reduced it to a tray of blood. Look at it, a wasteland out there, and yet exquisitely beautiful. I love the Silk Road, but for me, this is what it's all about. Hidden valleys, mountain tops, and these wild frontiers. Unparalleled views. Next time, I travel away from the mountains to visit a camel sanatorium and find out whether drinking camel's milk is a miracle cure. <laughs>